Peace, power, soul, elevated activation, and beyond the voids of creation, we are the United Futuritarians. The topic for this video is living in different timelines, 11,111 to the 111th power, asterisk, 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 once more, living in different timelines. Today's date is Tuesday, June 20th, 2023, for year of seven it is currently 1118 p.m. PST out here in Paradise, Las Vegas, Nevada. We are ones welcome with ones for true 11 in its power state, calling ourselves activationist, activationist, but united vegetarians. Once more, activationist, activationist. The United Vegetarians. We are once welcome with ones, true activationists, true activationists, the 11, once welcome with ones. There are those who are living in past timelines and those who are living in present timelines. And there you have us who are living in future timelines and beyond time itself. So, that being said, there's a lot of, you know, different frequencies dealing with either past, present, and future. So there are a lot of people that are still being looped in those past and present frequencies. While we are elevating with the one, we're linear as far as um, our movement, our thinking is linear, meaning it's straightforward. A line is straightforward. There are no curves or breaks, but it's just the continuous leveling up or stacking up, raising up our collective frequencies as ones working with ones or our number being the true 11. But true 11 deals with the equality, balance, leaders, walking with leaders. That's why we're always saying that. Because in different timelines and beyond time itself, it will only be ones walking with ones, leaders walking with leaders. That's our future power structure. That's how we further raise and elevate outside the earth dimensions. But it starts with us being able to connect with the fourth dimension and um, doing that mentally and soulfully and being able to further go beyond 4D mentally and soulfully. Projecting and casting our minds and our souls upper and outer dimensionally or using um, that remote viewing to see into these upper and outer dimensional spaces and places. Being able to uh, peer into these upper spaces and places. Living in different timelines. There are others who kind of do remote viewing by looking in the past. They invest their mental energy, their all being into the past. Living in the past, presently trying to recreate what already happened. While we're presently receiving what's new and next, from the future, which allows us to override the past, which allows us to not be looped, but always breaking out, always um, extending things or elevating things, taking things to a next level, being activationist, being activationist, but united futuritarians. We are definitely living in a different timeline or living in different timelines as far as us being of the future. It's in our name. It's in our actions. It's seen through our actions. It's felt through our our outergy or what we are all radiating as a collective force and individually when we're going out into our communities and around other people. We're on a we're on a higher frequency. We are on the eleven frequency, which is the elevated frequency, not the ten frequency. That keeps you looped. That keeps your attention focused on nothing. It's like a wild goose chase, being looped with all of the past and present information. I said that we're here in the present receiving the future. We're shifting the present through our future 
entanglement or what they say quantum entanglement but with our further um extracting or pulling in of uploads and not downloads or further moving things forward in the upper and outer dimensions but as well as most importantly we're moving things here moving things forward here and that being said you just look at the different mindsets of people and it shows you where they're at looking at their mindset or looking at what are they representing in this time period whether you are pan-africanist whether you are spiritualists people who are woke conscious religious for us we're dealing with the intelligent we are activationist we are the united futuritarians a name that can't be traced back to the past but you can't find any books but you can't find on google siri alexa up until presently because the future had to come back to the pra- to the, the past aka during that time it was the present but they had to come back to the past dealing with the 2D so we fell here from the upper and outer dimensions to a second dimension which was they want to say roughly 2.6 billion years ago or two and a half billion years ago because each dimension represents a billion years and that being said we're in a third dimension where we're, we're closing out third dimension or that third billion year to head into the what the fourth billion year or the fourth dimension living in different timelines living in a elevated frequency going beyond time itself like I said we're elevating outside the voids of creation outside the universes galaxies planets all of that we're elevating beyond that because of our souls because of our parents intelligence because of us as the omni source or the, the true creators a lot of people can't acknowledge that that they have that much power but we do we do as a collective power source as the omni source in the omni state We influence a lot of things when it comes to the voids of creations or the voids of space. Hopefully I can mentally uh, paint that picture for you all or you all are able to see that by hearing my voice. But the the fact being is that everything is remotely being channeled or remotely being streamlined through me to you all for the embitterment of mind and soul activation. Because it's necessary to be able to receive, to be able to see above and beyond the space and place, to be able to go above and beyond the uh, low frequencies, to break out of that loop process, to only be in a lower state, being oblivious. Being oblivious means that you are in a lower state mentally, un- not knowing anything, not being aware of who you truly are and your purposes are. So we said that we've traversed into these uh, future timelines to be able to control the past and present or to be able to control the present. And as well as the past, because like I said before, we've broken up that in order to be in the future, uh, Brother F1 said, in order to be in the future, you have to control the past and present, which we have because everything is beginning to flow. There is no more blockages. And we can all feel that. As a collective. Even if we aren't even representing the same camps, aka or identify as the same things. But we are all feeling a shift. We are all feeling a shift or expansion. You're hearing people talking about, oh, we're heading into a new next dimension. And that's coming from all camps, whether it be religious, spiritual conscious woke but that goes to show you that there is that um universal omni standing or universal understanding to those who still understand but there's still a a universal 
uh, acknowledgement, if we'll put it that way. There is a universal acknowledgement of shifting expansion of new and next things to come. And it's not just off our intuition, but it's, it's well, it, it is our intuitiveness, but just our sensing. We're sensing, we're feeling a raise. And not many people can can really understand it or they can't process it all. Some of the artificial beings cannot process it all. They can't process it. So, you know, it's more like of they, they somewhat self-destruct. Or those who are not supposed to play out in the future. What happens? They they end up unaliving themselves or they end up uh, coming to an end because everyone has a time when they come here and when they'll go. At the same time, there are some ones who will extend into the future. And there are others who will further be looped and have to come back and repeat this. Have to repeat the third dimensional state all over again. While others like us will extend or elevate to the fourth dimensions and beyond. We've learned our lessons in the third dimension because of our frequent and continuous leveling up as ones walking with ones. Or leaders walking with leaders. It's just that simple. There is no more resistance. There is no more stagnation. There's nothing that can stop us from this uh, free flow state or this, uh, this, what is it, the fly zone that Brother AF1 broke up. Check him out on his channel, Activationist, Brother AF1, um, Activationist channel, uh, yes, on YouTube. So, dealing with the fly zone, that is the protection zone from the lower dimensions or that lowered state. That's why it can't be seen. Because it's further above and beyond. It's the unseen state in which a lot of people can't fathom. We're going to be in the unseen state as far as our uh, our next state. The fourth state. Or the raised state. We're embodying that in this third dimensional state. Because we further had to extend the third dimensional state. In a way to where or we had to break it. Break out of it. And extend out of it, breaking out or extend out of it onto the um, onslaught of the fourth dimension, physically walking towards that. Or, in a way, we've created a gateway which led us into this, um, which seems like a alternate reality. That's what it feels like because we've broken out of that looped uh, state of thinking. That looped way of living, we've broken out of that uh, that illusion, because it wasn't reality; it was purely illusion. It's like now we're in a. It feels like I said before, a alternate reality, but it's the true reality which we're in, and it's taking time for us to get used to. Others who have now broken into um, that elevated mental state or that risen. Mental state and soulful state. Now we are saying that it's the the pushing forward or the pushing of power, the pushing P. We're always pushing P or pushing power, pushing intelligence, pushing the raising of the minds and souls of our people. The ones who fell down here. Not for 200 falling, but for the 200 rising. The 200 rising. And we stand on that as the 11. For true 11 in this power state. When you turn 11 horizontally. What does it create? It creates the equal symbol. Because we are all equal. In the upper and outer dimensions. The future timelines. And beyond time itself. So definitely. There are a lot of people. um, On different timelines. The past. Or the present. We happen to have, we are caught up in the present, projecting forward out into the future timelines or the future, um, aka meaning the upper and outer dimensions. So we are the united Futuritarians as ones, broken with ones, 
leaders walking with leaders, activationist walking with activationist, um, activisionist walking with activisionist. Today's topic, living in different timelines, 11,111 to the 111th power, asterisk, 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 is currently 1218 uh, a.m. PST out here in Paradise, Las Vegas, Nevada, Wednesday, June 21st. 2023, the year of the seven, raising higher and higher, elevating as a collective council, as the source, as the uh, as the omni source in the omni states or in the omni state. So moving forward to more power, peace, power, soul. Uh, until next time. Check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spreaker, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Twitter, Rumble, Odyssey, and Patreon, and other podcasting platforms. As the United Fugitarians, we are ones walking for ones. Check out the council, but the Cosmo Uni One, Uni Fresh, with his music on Apple Music, Spotify, and SoundCloud, with his latest music uh, drop and his album called Peering to Me. And check out his fitness on Instagram um, and YouTube. Uh, that is New Life Evolt, N U L I F E E V O U L T. Um, check out his uh, Instagram um, and Facebook, Cosmo Uni One Uni Fresh as well. And check out Brother uh, Sunshift with his crystals, Euphoria underscore based. Once more, Euphoria underscore based. Um, on Instagram, Brother, Brother Sunshift and Sunshift on Instagram as well and Facebook. As well, uh, check out Brother uh, AF1. Like I said, his YouTube channel is Activationist on YouTube. Activationist, how it sounds, this is how you spell it, Activationist. And check him out on, on Facebook and Instagram, AFONE, Futuritarian. Once more, AFONE, Futuritarians. We are ones, welcome ones. Check me out on Instagram as Anuclear, A H N U C L E A R underscore, A H N U C L E A R underscore. And um, as well as our channel, I mean, our page. Uh, United underscore Fugitarians 11 on Instagram. United underscore Fugitarians 11 on um, Instagram. We are once welcome once. Or check out my Facebook as well. Uh, our soul, our nuclear raising. Once more, our soul, our nuclear raising. Uh, that's A S O U L. Uh, our nuclear, A H N U C L E A R, raising R A E. S I N G. So yes, all of our social media is plugged in there. Hopefully you all you all got that. If not, play it back. But uh, yeah, we are ones walking with ones. True activationist, true activisionist. Leaders walking with leaders. Ones walking with ones. I am our nuclear future ray. Until next time, peace, power, soul. Um, if you are with the future, then link up with us. Reach out to us, ask questions, uh, comment on our videos. We're saying that we're looking for feedback. We're looking to improve and grow. We're not saying that we know everything, but you know there is room for improvement in every aspect of our all being. So peace, power, soul. We are one.